episode 50. Good part, babe. Good job. All ready to knit. So a little knitting bag right there. Listening to football, knitting, chili in the pot. The bright rolls in the oven. And looking out over that gorgeous view. And what are you doing, babe? Tedious work, but someone's got to do it. Episode 50, can you believe that? Wow, how fast these five years have flew by. My name is Joyce, also known as Ruby, so welcome. Everyone, if you're new, welcome, and if you're returning, welcome. 
It's so nice to have you in our yom. We do live in a yurt in the Great Smoky Mountains. And it's November, a beautiful, beautiful November. We are nice, warm weather, um, crisp weather, I should say. Warm meaning, like I can go out. I'll, after I get done recording, I'm going to go for my walk. And so I won't need a jacket or anything. But... It's cool and crisp in the evenings and in the mornings and through the night it gets cold. But other than that, it's just perfect weather. Soon snow, hopefully. Last year was our first winter and so we had snow in November. We're halfway through November and no snow yet, but I'm not giving up hope. We are actually going out of town for Thanksgiving. So watch, it will snow while we're gone. But anyway... How have y'all been? Ah, what have I been doing since you and I spent time together? Let's see. I did go to the Pottery Festival that I told you all about. It wasn't that great. We were a little disappointed. Um, eh, I don't even know what to say about it. It just wasn't my style of pottery, I guess. Um, very, very, very high end. And, um... I don't know, just weird pieces that I, you know, I'm, I'm a practical kind of girl. So if I want pottery, I want a mug or I want a spoon rest or, you know, just something that I can use every day. And a lot of these pieces weren't that, but let me turn this off. But it was enjoyable. After that, we shot over to an artisan festival that was in the same little town. Actually, it's every weekend. And I have been wanting to stop in there. So we did. And that was a lot of fun. Now, I did enjoy that. Oh, my goodness. I'm going to pop some video in here because they had chickens running around. I mean, I'm telling you what. This was just a little corner lot in a little small town. And there were chickens running around. And, I mean, like, this is downtown. And I don't know what kept these chickens in because I've been at the, to this little town so many times. And there are not chickens walking the streets. But they were all over the little um, artisan fair. And that was cute because you know how I love chickens. And um, I, I'm i just trying to think of a bot. I, I bought a little a ball, a little decorative ribbon ball. Um, but it's already put away. I did buy that. Um, but I love that. I love talking to the, the artisans there. And that was a lot of fun. See, what else have I done? Um, we did go to the Christmas show that I told you about that we were going. My, my sister-in-law came down and we went over to Charlotte and our daughters and my granddaughters and we spent the entire day there. It was packed. I don't Christmas know show for probably 20 some years and I don't know that it has ever been this crowded and I'm guessing it's because everyone is just over COVID and they're just trying to cram in everything that they've missed because the Christmas showed they didn't have it last year. And so I'm guessing that everyone was just starved for it. I don't know, but you, we went on a Sunday and usually in the past Sundays have been very moderate, very mild, not really overcrowded. It was packed, but that was so much fun. I didn't get a lot, but I did get these cute little earrings. I don't know if you can see them. They are quarters that have been um, just pressed and rounded and indented a little bit to, to where it's like a little dome -ish shape, little bowl shape. But that I got, and they have, so there was, it was made out of quarters, and so it was quarters representing all the states. And um, my daughter and I, I don't have any jewelry on today, but typically I have, I wear um, spoon rings. And, um, and my daughter, my youngest daughter and I have forever bought like a piece of jewelry there. And uh, so this year we got these and I was looking at the North Carolina ones and she was looking at the West Virginia ones. And so we decided to get the West Virginia ones since I was born and raised there and she was born there. I have the card of the maker here. It's Walker Jewelers, and they're in Salisbury, North Carolina, and they're also on, also on Instagram. So, yeah, Walker Jewelers. Look them up. 
it says their Instagram is just Walker Jewelers. No, it isn't. It's Walker, yeah, Walker Jewelers. I was going to say Walker J Jewelers, but no, that J is for the jewelers. So Walker Jewelers. But yeah, he had all kinds of interesting um, jewelry, but I really, really like those. So if you want a pair for your state, representing your state, then by all means, get a hold of them. I'm sure they ship. So um, trying to think, I, I made notes again today, aren't I? Very good. Um so yeah, we did that. We've, it's just been fire pit weather. We've sat outside a couple evenings. I think you saw that in the pro mode one evening and we sit out and we look over the mountain and when the sun is coming in or the sun's setting, that mountain is so, so beautiful. On my Instagram account, if you follow me on my Instagram account, you will have seen one evening that I was walking and it was just like the, the hills, the mountains were just golden. I will try to stick some photos in here of that, but it is never ending pleasure on this mountain. It is just gorgeous every time I look around. And then I've been busy making for my Etsy shop. It is back open now and it is pr it is stocked a lot. Um, today I loaded uh, a, so a quilted bag, two quilted totes. One of them is already sold, so there's one left. And I don't know what's going to be there by the time this uploads and by the time you watch it. But I'm trying to stock it daily or add things to it daily. Um, I know that there's coasters in there. These are different coasters. The first batch was from a black quilt that I had. Uh, not a black quilt, a black afghan that was crochet granny squares. And the base of it was black. I think I had actually taken the black thread off and it was just the colors of the, the other colors of the granny square. Anyway, I've, it's a whole new blanket now that I'm working with. And so those coasters are on there. I've got some scarves in here and I will try to put some photos in here as I'm t telling you. Um, I have another crocheted bag in there. And then again, the quilted tote that I put in today. Um, Christmas ornaments will be coming soon. They're just whimsical little bohemian style ornaments. So yeah, that is all going in there. So you just have to check it daily to see what I'm adding. You can also follow my Instagram account. I see flowers by RMC and, um, you will see, I, I try to put on there daily when I'm adding. And then sometimes on my Ruby Moss cottage, because I know not everyone follows both accounts. So I'm trying to keep it before you. So you will know when it's updated and it is open and stocked quite well right now. I've also put some of the blankets from my personal collection in there because I have so many blankets and so much yarn bought to knit to crochet blankets that I realized I don't need them all. And so I thought, well, maybe I will sell some. That will help me to buy more yarn to make more blankets. It's just a circle, a never ending circle. But that so that is all in there so go check out my etsy shop i see flowers by rmc and yeah see if there's anything in there that you would be interested in um let's see that's everything i've been doing what i've been watching is i've watched um let me see what the name of it is father christmas is back that's on netflix that's a good cute christmas movie so Father Christmas is back. And then I'll also watch The Holiday, of course. I will probably watch that a time or two before Christmas again with Cameron Diaz. I love that movie. So that's all the Christmas movies I've been watching. Um, I've also found a new podcaster. Probably not new to you, but she's new to me. And she's quite a character. Her name, I can't remember her name, but the name of the podcast is Miss Evil Knits. If you have not watched Miss Evil Knits, you need to watch her. She is funny without trying to be funny because when I watch her, I I equate her to uh, the soup Nazi on the Seinfeld show. Because she's got so many rules. Like, you do not ask her questions. And it's just like, if you do, you're almost afraid she's just going to, I don't know, block you from watching her show. I mean, she's quite funny. However, she is very, very informative. So I'm learning a lot. 
Um, I will not ever ask her a question, but I do enjoy watching her podcast. So Miss Evil Knits is the name of that podcast. Um, I do read all of your responses and thank you so much for your comments. You have made me feel so loved. I love when you make comments. So feel free to drop a comment below. Talk to me so I can talk to you. And it makes it feel like more of a community to me. And as you're reading, if you, if you read comments, feel free to join in the conversation at any time. Um, some of the comments, one of the, one lady said she would like to see more of our everyday life, more of our town, the town we live in, what restaurants we go to. Um, I'm going to be honest with you. We don't go to a lot of restaurants. We, it, it is a big ordeal for us just to go into town. I mean, it's, it's about 15, 20 minutes into town, which doesn't sound like much, but you have to realize we're coming down off of a mountain straight down off of a mountain and it's windy curvy coming down off of another mountain going into the the town so it's a big ordeal i am typically here from saturday to saturday i rarely leave the yurt um and then on the weekends we will go maybe on a saturday we'll go into our little town or we'll go into neighboring towns and so i will start to show you that i think if if you're interested in that then i'll by all means i'll show you some of the areas that we go into usually we will eat lunch out um on a saturday sometimes we'll go into another neighbor, neighboring town on a sunday for lunch but typically we eat here um we we like to cook here my husband does most of the cooking but I have started cooking a little. Um, and yeah, now that it's getting dark early, I mean, I don't know, call us old, but because we live so far out, we just like to be in by around dark and we just don't we just don't go go down the mountain much after dark. So I will show you though more of our life outside of the yurt if that's what you're interested in. And please, I appreciate her saying that. So please tell me whatever you're interested in and we will include it in here for you to see. We do live in a yurt. If you're new, we do live in a yurt um, high up in the Great Smoky Mountains and on three and a half acres of land. We lived at the top of the, mount, at the, top of the mountain. Um, so yeah, it is a different lifestyle, but we are loving it. It's a very simplistic lifestyle. So, uh, you, whatever you think you want to see, let me, let me know. And I'll be more than happy to record it for you. At the beginning of the video, you will see us. We were down at the trout stream and he was picking up rock, little rock. And I don't think you heard what he was doing before, but at the bottom of our hearth of our fireplace, he's putting the stones, little stones around. It looks really good. I will try to get a picture of that for you and put it in here. Um, but uh, as far as our wood burning stove, I'm sad to say it is not up and running. We have had our pipe ordered for so long. I, it feels like a month. I don't know if it's been that long, but it has been quite a while. So he went, to, someone told us Amazon had what we needed. I don't know why we didn't think to do that. We have checked all over the United States and, um, Finally, we did try Amazon. It's supposed to be here today. So he went and canceled the brick and mortar, which we want to support that. But they couldn't guarantee us when they were getting, they could get the pipe. They knew it was in Nashville, but they didn't know with the trucking, trucking issues when it would be shipped here. So we canceled that order and we ordered it from Amazon. The Amazon order should be here today. In the meantime... My husband checked Facebook Marketplace and found some in Georgia, which he's going to get today. So that was at a much cheaper cost. So when he gets back with that, if he has it has all the pieces he needs, then we will send the Amazon order back. And we should have our fireplace, our fire, wood burning stove up and running by Sunday. That's the goal. We're not doing anything Saturday. We're staying right here and working on it. So if all the piping is here and if all the stars are lined up and if I stand on one foot and hold my mouth just right, maybe he'll get it all finished in working order 
this weekend. Now the mantle and stuff will, that'll come, uh, I don't know when that'll be done, but um, yes, yeah, so I'm hoping because the weather is getting colder at nighttime, we haven't really needed it. I mean, we have enough heaters and, and our little mini split that's keeping it fine, but if it would happen to turn cold long term, we are going to need that wood burning stove. So I know every time I, t I record, I say next time, next time, hopefully, I will be sitting in front of the fireplace and we will have a fire in, in the fireplace and uh, or in the wood burning stove and I will be recording from that. I think the next episode is going to be my advent um, episodes. So we are next week is Thanksgiving and then Thanksgiving weekend we come back and we will put up the Christmas tree and then on the first Sunday of Advent I will record and then and four times in December will be that. I don't know if it will be a, a podcast per se as you're used to um, or or what it'll turn into be. It might just be a couple little, might be just be some short little videos for each Advent. I haven't really decided yet, but we'll figure it all out. And you'll probably know just about the time I know. But so... I think that is about all that we've been going on. Oh, some of the yurt names you've been suggesting. I've had three come in. Um, one said Ruby Moss Yurt. One said, I thought this was so cute. One says it, it needs to be called Busy Mates Cottage because we're both so busy all the time. I thought that was really cute. And then the Crofty Yurt. So those are fun. Um, I just throw out your ideas. I'm leaning towards... Um, Hobbit House, but I'm not sure. We'll see. Time, you know me. I change my mind so often, but we will. So we'll see. Speaking of Advents, I have seen so many Advents that I wanted to do this year. One that I hands down wanted to do was the hot chocolate one by um, Ninja Chickens, Maria. But I, it just wasn't the year financially for me to do an Advent. So, and lucky me, one of the viewers said last summer, uh, I think it was last June, she messaged me and said, hey, would you like to do a swap this year for Advent? And I was all over that because I thought that would be affordable, really basically the little things I put in it, but then the shipping, good Lord, that was expensive enough. But so I'm going to show this just so you, Shelly, know I have not peaked. She told me no peeking and... So I am doing an advent swap with a viewer and I cannot wait to open this on December the 1st. That is going to be such fun. So let me encourage you because I know those advent swaps that um, makers do can be very pricey. However, I will tell you this, they are not making a killing off of it. I mean, they are making probably less than what they should. It costs it's a lot of work to originate your own box. Now this, what Shelly and I did was not bad because we we did um, 24 balls of yarn, five, 10 ounce balls of yarn, minis from our own collection. Okay, we I had plenty of that. I'm sure, I know she did. Then we did, um, for Christmas day, we did a full skein of yarn. So I had that, I gave that from my stash. Um, and then we did, you know, as all Advents, we had a little extra for um, each day. And then we made a, we made a handmade ornament. And um, yeah, just th a couple other things thro thrown in and voila. So most everything was just here, you know, in your own stash. I think there is a lady who's organizing that, um, you would just sign up. I am not sure. Shelly, I know you're the one that sent me that information. So if you would pop that information down below, it might be kind of late for that probably. But it's something to think about for next year. If you are one of these people that just would love to do an Advent. A couple of years ago, I did um, Bed of Roses Advent. Hers was beautiful. That was such a treat to open up every day. It was pricey, but... You got your money's worth with her with her um, advent. That is one I would highly recommend. Hers is very, very much worth the money that you put into it. 
But like I said, that wasn't in the cards this year. So I'm excited that I have that one with Shelly to do. Okay, what about our cows? We have two cows going on. Uh, the officially unofficial Marl Mania Leggings cow, which so many of you have knit. And I've seen so many on Instagram. Wow, if we could just have a retreat where we all come together and wear our Marl Mania Leggings, that would be the best. But we can't do that. So through the power of Instagram, we post our pictures with that hashtag. And then I am doing one that wraps up November 21st. So I don't know if you're gonna watch this after November 21st. If you do, sorry. But as of today, which is the 17th, you still have time to whip up a pair. It's the Warm Hugs Cow, and we're doing wrist warmers, arm warmers. So all you have to do is just knit a tube, basically and use the hashtag warm hugs cow underscore finish post it there before november 21st and you are eligible for prizes i am co-hosting this with jen of everything makes us everything shapes us i'm sorry jen i always say makes us everything shapes us and she has rounded up a bunch of um sponsors for the cow and so they are get, there's some awesome prizes there jen has submitted an awesome prize and then I am submitting a prize. And this I just finished today. This is a tote that I made. It's there's a, There was actually two of them in my shop. One sold, there's one left. This is from an old quilt that I have re, uh, recycled. And I made a tote out of it. This was the backing of the quilt. And then I'm act, adding this skein of yarn in with it. It's um, Wonderland Yarns. So that is my prize, <coughs> excuse me. This is, um, oh, this was so much fun to make. I can only imagine the stories if this quilt could talk, but it is truly, truly vintage and I've kept it vintage per the, per the, the, the message of the quilt that it gave. I didn't want to disrupt that at all, but where there, like if there was a little, um, a little tear in the quilt. I left it as long as it didn't compromise the makeup of the bag. Um, so yes, I seamed it inside out. I felt like that would go with the seams showing. It just kind of went with that retro, retro um, vintage vibe. So this is a prize. And one lucky winner will get that. Hope you enjoy it and that beautiful yarn. Believe me, I wanted both. I thought, oh, I wish I hadn't said I was making the bag and that I was just giving the yarn. And then, well, I have to do that. And then I thought, well, I wish I hadn't said I was giving the yarn and just the bag because I really like this yarn. But I've decided to do both. So this is the Warm Hugs Cow. Check out the, the hashtag on Instagram. You can see everyone's makes oh there's so many beautiful beautiful makes on there here's one that i made so we'll just transition to out of my bags okay i think i showed you this on the last podcast where i was starting them and i told you i made it from this knit call um yarn sorry the fiber. Okay. And so the number of the color number is 053. Someone asked me that. So this is the knit call. That's the yarn. It's colorway 053. I made the everything November mitts by, um, everything shapes us. Jen, she has an Etsy shop. So go check out her Etsy shop. I still have to weave in the ends. Actually, I think I just have that one end to weave in, but this, let's try to tuck that in like that. These are the Everything November Mitts by Everything Shapes Us. And that yarn knit, knit this. I mean, you know, like I, it looks scrappy, but it isn't. It's just the yarn that transitions from color to color. They're so perfect. Now, I did um, alter mine from her pattern a little bit. I didn't use fingering weight yarn. I used worsted weight yarn. And so I had to adjust the stitches for that. But um, yeah, go buy that pattern. It is a very well-written pattern and you can have a beautiful pair of mitts. Like these, now I made these longer than her pattern called for too. I think hers are probably shorter. 
But these you could so easily have knit up by the 21st and be able to be eligible for prizes. So that's out of my bags. Then I started, I started these bits a long time ago. And I made them when I went to Norway in 2019. No, 2020. I, we went to this uh, spinnery, Selbu spinnery, and she had yarn. And this brown yarn here is from her Newfie, her Newfoundland dog. And my daughter has a Newfoundland Newfie. And so, even though my daughter, my daughter's Newfie is black, but that doesn't matter. I needed to have that yarn for, from that Newfie to make something for my daughter. And it was not much. So, I decided that I would make her a pair of mitts. And then I bought the gray yarn and the green yarn, um, this gray and this green. I bought that at the Selbu Spinnery as well. So I just made her these cute little mitts for, um, you know, just throw and go every day where um, I think mitts are so much, so, so nice because you can, you still have your car keys, your house keys, you know, if you have a baby, little kids, you can still have some kind of warmth. Now, I did see where someone made um, just the wrist warmers. So, they had a regular pair of gloves. Then they slid those wrist warmers over top of the gloves. That was so cute. You'll have to check out the hashtag to see who that was. But, so, yeah, these are out of my bags, finally. They, um, I just used it. I made up a pattern, and I didn't make notes as I made up the pattern wrong. So, I had one mitt finished. I cast this one on, and when it came to the thumb gusset, I did not do it identical. I took this thumb out. I don't know how many times. Finally, I said, it's good enough. You know, they're wabi-sabi. She doesn't have, they don't have to be perfect. They can be perfectly imperfect. That's my style anyway. So, that is out of my bags. Probably everybody's getting wrist warmers or fingerless mitts in their Christmas this year because I have had such fun knitting these and I just don't want to stop. They're just quick. They can be as colorful or not as colorful as you want them to be. So this is probably what everybody's going to get in their stockings. Then another thing that's out of my bag and I've been having such fun with this and I could think, thank uh, Michelle of Naughty Knitwits because she really got me rolling on these. But I have been making some Christmas ornaments Here's a few of them. So, yeah, I've been making those, having fun with those. Um, I do not have them in my Etsy shop. I basically have just been doing them for fun. Then I had some requests. So, I, I, you know, I would make you some. You would need to get with me right away and tell me your colors. And um, then we can um, talk about the shipping and how many you want. We, could, You know, I would need you to pay shipping. My Etsy shop is free shipping. But um, I can't imagine these paying off for me to ship them. So, um, yeah, just if you're interested, let me know. I can, I'm, I've got a few more open spaces. I might take a few more orders. But, but aren't those cute? They're crochet. It's a free pattern. Just all you have to do is just Google or go on YouTube and, and you'll see a gazillion of them. But I've been making those. So that's all that's out of my bags. And I know that doesn't seem like much knitted. However, with all my Etsy makes, I've been quite busy. Like, all day long I've been working. So, I don't get that much time to knit for myself. But that's out of my bags, in my bags. So, I have a huge stash of projects that are going on in my bags. But I thought, okay, what do I want to work on next? So, I chose this. It's in my um, uh, fringe supply bag. And I'm knitting this. This is a, like a little mini knit along that I'm doing with a friend of mine, Audrey, in Barcelona. And this summer, we came up with the idea that we would do a little knit along, just the two of us. So we chose the Everyday uh, Shawl by Andrea Maori. And I just wanted to use something from Stash because I, you know, I don't want to go buy yarn. I have so much. And so I chose this it's a gray, and I don't know how true the color is going to show up there, but um, that's it. And you can see a bit of the chevron pattern that's going to be on the ends. So this is on each end, and then I have, I think, one more repeat of this, 
chevron and then I go into um, just a big wide section of, of stockinette. So we will be traveling over Thanksgiving and I thought, well, this will be the perfect thing to pull out. It'd be perfect time to work on that stockinette because it's mindless. Uh, I can still look at the scenery while we're driving. I can still talk to my husband while we're driving. I won't have to be thinking and counting. So I'm just going to get through that one chevron pattern and then Hopefully, the goal is to get through all of that boring stockinette on the trip. And then when I get back, maybe I'll just have the, another end of the chevron to do. And then that will be out of my bags for the holidays. So that is what is in my bags. It's the Everyday Shawl by Andrea Mowry. I have started um, a... Um, a blanket for my sister. I have not knit enough on that yet to show you, but um, we did some bartering. So I am making her a blanket, and this is a sister that you have not met. I am making her a blanket, and um, thankfully she's not going to be in a big hurry. I'm going to, it'll take me a while, simply because we are so different. I'm like this loud, colorful kind of girl, and she's more serene <laughs> and her colors are very mutual not mutual very muted natural colors and it's going to be beautiful but it's not that wow ah, you know that i want to do this it's going to be fun it's going to be oh let me knit this and let me contemplate or crochet and let me contemplate and let me be at peace so there's not enough of that to even show you, but I might take that on my trip as well because it's pretty repetitive, and then I can have something to show you. Oops, sorry about that. Then I have a little bit of stuff to show you for that. That is all. Let's see, that's all that's out of my bag. That's all that's in my bag. Let me ask you a question. Okay, so I'm making this shawl, this everyday shawl, and I love shawls. I love knitting shawls. And I always, you know, as I'm scrolling Instagram, I'll see one. I go, oh, I want to make that. And I save it. Oh, I want to make that. I save it. And I realized, then I started unpacking all of um, our my winter clothes. I have so many shawls. So, I'm wondering, would it be tacky to give shawls that I've knit, that I've worn, that are in pristine condition? condition. They are in pristine condition. Would it be tacky to give those as gifts or to give them as giveaways? Because I can't keep knitting shawls and I don't want to unravel them and reuse the yarn. I mean, I think people should enjoy them. But then I thought, oh, that might be a little tacky. So I thought I'd ask you guys if you think that that would be tacky. And so let me know what you think about that. Uh, because I've got to do something with them. And I don't want to take them to goodwill. I guess what I could do is if I did, if you said, yeah, giving them as gifts is a little tacky. Maybe I could just give them just to be giving them. Like maybe keep a stack for prayer shawls or something. And when someone's name comes to my mind, I could send it to them. Maybe, maybe that would be a little better than giving them as a gift. Let me know your thoughts on that. Help a sister out, would you? Okay, let's move on to book bag. Oh my goodness. For having such a dry spell in reading to where I think I told you every time I'd pick up a book, I'd go, eh, this is okay, but okay, these last few, like last podcast, I loved my books. This podcast, I love this book. It's only one book, but it is very, very, very good. It's Someone We Know. And I don't know, you may have read it. I do not like scary, and I thought maybe it would be scary. It's not scary at all. It's it's more like a thriller. Um, they have on here poised and chilling. I don't think it's chilling, um, but it, it's good. It's not scary, but it's very uh, and it's it's shocking how how it how it ends. It's so good. So someone we know. I'd never read this author before, so I don't know. I'll probably want to try another book of hers. But I read, and I don't know, if you have read her, let me know. I read a little bit about some of her other books, and I kind of got the feeling that maybe she was an author that is just same old, same old, just different, different storyline. 
and so which is fine i like books like that but not back to back so i won't i won't read her for a while but that was very good someone we know i like that oh i think that is out that's done that's it This is going to be a little shorter episode, but I wanted to hop on here just so I could stay in the groove of everything. I just, you know, so many times I get slack and then four weeks have passed before I know it. And so my goal is now is to stay a little on track. Like my goal is to stay more committed to the podcast, more committed to my Etsy shop, you know, just, get, just stay focused. So I thought I'm going to hop on, I'm going to record so that. I kind of stay on track, but that's it. So we don't have much coming up. We have, we're going away for Thanksgiving to visit with some family. And so that's next week. And then um, we'll be back and then we'll, we'll start our advents. And I don't have much of anything going on. Just the Christmas season's coming up. I can't wait. I am one. Typically in the past, when I had the big house, I started decorating November 1st because it took me that long to get everything done by Thanksgiving. And then I could sit back and enjoy. You know, now we have this little yurt. Basically, all I get to do is put up a Christmas tree and um, a few little things here and there. But if they had, I want a, a tree that has a root ball to it so that we can plant it, which we did last year. We planted it and it's been fine. It's been so healthy and thriving. And in the last month, it looks like it's not doing good at all. So I've been spraying it really good in case it has some kind of disease, but um, I'm afraid we might lose it. <sighs> that was our first Christmas tree up here. I really wanted to save that. So I, I do want to get some Christmas, you know, for for the next few years, I want Christmas trees that have root balls to them. If they had their tree farm set up now, I would put it up now, but they don't. So as soon as they open up, I'm going to go. And that's probably going to be Thanksgiving weekend. When we get back into town, we'll go get our tree, put it up. There is nothing like sitting in a room at nighttime with the Christmas tree lit up. It's so cozy. Funny story. I had made some um, garland. I took some lights, like Christmas tree lights, and I made garland within it. And, and I'm, I'm talking about a fabric garland. And because I thought, well, I might sell this for the shop. After I made it, I thought, eh, not, not that crazy about it. I don't want to sell it. So I just put it up. And I went to go find... Um, a remote timer to hook it up, plug it into. Well, evidently I've used them all. And so the only thing I had was the clapper. So I put it, hooked it all up, clapped it on. It came on, clap, clapped it off. Then it, it just, if you're watching a TV show and they're singing and someone starts to clap, it'll come on or it'll go off. It's so funny. You'll be sitting here in the middle of the night. I guess there's a sound outside that'll make it go off and you'll wake up and you'll look through the, the yurt and you'll see it's this side of the yurt is lit up and you have to sit up in bed and clap your hands so that it goes off. I mean, it's just, you never know when those lights are going to hop on or hop off. So I need to get a time, a remote for that. But I was talking to my sister one night and we got tickled about that because Literally, they were clapping on TV and my lights didn't know what to do. They were on and off, on and off. So, so I wouldn't suggest putting your Christmas lights on a clapper if you're going to have it in the same room as a TV. Or at least not if you live in a yurt. Maybe that's it. Maybe the sound is just so intense here that it claps on and claps off easily. I don't know. I don't know why I would do that. I'll be doing some Christmas baking and that's it. We don't do Christmas, we don't do shopping after Thanksgiving. Like Black Friday, we stopped that years ago. The crowd was too intense and I don't like that. So this Thanksgiving, we uh, are just going to be hanging out with family, not really doing much. And, uh, and relaxing and enjoying each other. But if you like to shop for Black Friday, I hope that you find many good deals. I hope that you find everything you're looking for. Because if you're looking for it to be shipped... Who knows when you're going to get it. Okay.
that's it. That's another episode of um, our yurt cast. I'm just looking around to make sure because I don't want to forget anything. And I will double check my list here. Yeah, tell me, I told you that I've watched Father Christmas and the Holiday. Tell me some good movies to watch or some good shows to watch Christmassy things uh, because I'm always looking for something new to watch. Um, share your podcast that you watch, that you like to watch with me. And uh, that's it. I think that'll take care of it for now. So just remember that in everything you do, take it one stitch at a time. Maybe you'll have a little stitch. Thank you.